If you have a device that connects to a network like the internet, there is no doubt that that device is using logical ports to do so. Unlike physical ports, which are used to connect in actual devices, logical ports are used to connect in applications. Applications that run on the TCP IP protocol, to be more precise. Think of the device, which you might be holding in your hand right now, as a building and the applications as its residents that want to communicate with the outside world by sending and receiving packages. But to do so, all packages must first be properly labeled, meaning they need a building address, or in terms of your device, its IP address, and an apartment number, which will be equivalent to an application's port number. Easy, right? No? Okay, here's it one more time. You have the building, the apartment, and the resident. A package coming from the outside needs the address of the building, but seeing that there are multiple residents residing in the building, the package also needs an apartment number. Get it now? Okay, let's move on. All logical ports are, are a group of numerical numbers ranging from 0 to 65,535. This group is divided into three segments. Here's a closer look. Ports ranging from 0 to 1,023 are called well-known ports. Why? Well, because they are registered for well-known applications, like HTTP, which is the protocol for the web and uses the value 80 as its port number, or SMTP, which is how emails are sent and it uses 25 for its port number. Register ports fall in the middle and were meant for less well-known applications. But currently, these second-rate ports are going out of style in favor for the following set. Dynamic ports are meant for private use and do not require registration. This is the reason why many applications are ditching the register ports and moving over to dispatch. Another benefit that ports have brought to devices and networks is the ability to multitask. Because packets now have an additional label, multiple devices or applications can share a single address. In networking, this is called network address translation, and it is the reason why multiple devices in your home, for instance, can use the internet all at the same time. But ports are not always used for good. For example, open ports can be used by hackers as backdoors to gain access to your device. One remedy is to only open ports that are needed and leave the rest closed.